guys welcome back to my channel In today's video we're going to be looking at my favorite colors to wear on my nails for the fall i did already post my favorite eyeshadow palettes to wear during the fall which i will link down below so i wanted to do a nail polish one and i also have another one in mind i'm pretty sure yes i also want to do a fragrance one as well i like doing these for the season because i kind of go through my collections plural <laughs> to see what things i like using during these specific seasons so i thought it would be a good thing to share with you guys if you have any of these eyeshadow palettes or nail polishes or perfumes in your collection you can pull out during these seasons and wear so this one is going to be focused on nail polish. If you are new here, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos and let's get started. So I kind of have them in groups because I do have certain color families that I like to wear in the fall. So I kind of separated them into groups for that. But I do want to mention there are quite a few polishes that are not available anymore, but we will get to that. Some I'm actually not sure about, but I will link them down below if they are available. So with that being said, let's start with the oranges. So I don't wear necessarily a bright orange in the fall. I like to wear kind of a muted or rust orange like my shirt and my earrings and kind of my eyeshadow and on my nails. So let's talk about this one first, the one on my nails. This is an Essie polish. This is Playing Koi. And here is that polish. It is a kind of deep orange rust color. It's actually like the same exact color as my shirt, which I did not notice until I put the shirt on. <laughs> so I'm all orange. Um, this one has a thinner formula. It's more of a jelly-like formula. So I do need to use three coats with this, but I think the finished product is gorgeous. I think it's a perfect color for fall. It reminds me of like sweet potatoes or pumpkins or something like that. Apple or apple cider. That's where I was going with that. The next polish is from Orly, and this is from their fall collection, which I did a complete review on and swatch video. I will link that down below. And this is Canyon Clay. So this one is kind of a brownish rather than a rust orange, but I think it has an orangey base to it. I mean, maybe it might be more brown. I mean, when you put them next to each other, the Orly one is obviously more brown, but I still think it has an orange undertone to it to make it that kind of shade. This formula is fantastic, along with all of the Orly polishes. So I definitely recommend this polish, not only just for fall, just in general. I love this one. I have two polishes from KL Polish, and this is Kathleen Light's brand, and this is not available anymore. And I do have a few others, maybe just two. Yeah, I have two others from that line that are not available. So that's why I did want to add a couple other polishes that are available that you could pick up. Or if you have these in your collection, that works too. So the first one is Brick Sidewalk. And this is actually more of a brick red than burnt orange. But it actually is very close to the SE shade. But here is this one. You can see it is more red than orange. But if you put these two together, they are very similar. So I think this is kind of a reddish orange. But this formula is great. The brush on these polish is amazing as well. So I have not purchased any polishes from her new Lights Lacquer brand but I hope to do that soon. I've not tried that formula to see if it is as good as this one, but let me know if you have any of those polishes, if you like the formula, if the brush is just as good, and if there are any shades that you think that I need in my collection. And then the other KL polish is more of a mustardy yellowy, and this is Caramello. And here's that. So I guess it is kind of a caramel, but I think it's more of a yellowy caramel. It's not brownish, I guess. It's hard to explain this. This is like one of those pretty ugly colors. <laughs> 
Like you would not think of this color as a pretty polish at all, but I think it is a nice one for fall. I like to go towards those muted, rusty, I guess this is mustardy tones in the fall. So that's why I picked up this one. And then I have two Essie shades. Um, the first one is Don't Be Spotted from their fall collection this year. Actually, the other one is too. Um, but this is a bright orange, obviously. So this is the brightest polish that I have in this pile right here. I just think this is a fun polish for fall. I don't necessarily lean towards these shades for the fall, but I thought this would still qualify for fall. It is in the fall collection. I don't think it's a super fall shade, but I still think it is good enough to be fall. <laughs> and then the other one is Cargo Cameo, which is the brown shade with that like goldish shift to it. So this one is gorgeous. I think this is a really fun shade for fall. And it's putting it next to the Orly. They have similar base tones, but obviously the Cargo Cameo one has that like chromey feel to it. I really only have one polish like this in my whole collection, so that's why I picked this because I think this is the best for the fall. I don't think it works for any other season, so that's why I included it in here. And then the next groupings, let's talk about the mauves or taupes. They're more taupey than mauve, but one has a slight or pinker tone to it, but we will get to that. So the first one is from OPI and this is I Sao Paulo over there. This is like the most perfect taupey shade. I like to wear taupes in the fall and the winter, so this one will go in the winter as well, but I love taupes in the fall more so, so that's why I picked this one. The next one is from Orly, and this is Prince Charming, so this is a little bit darker than the OPI polish, but it is still just as pretty for fall. And then the next two are more of a purpley, pinky undertone to them. First is from Painted Polish, and this is Stamped in Mulberry. And Painted Polish is an indie brand. I'm not sure if you have heard of it or not. And I'm not 100% sure if all the polishes I'm going to mention from her brand are available anymore. So again, if they are, I will link them down below. But I love her stamping polishes. These are one coaters. They're perfect for stamping, but I don't stamp as much. So I just use these as normal polishes. And this is a beautiful fall shade. And then the last one in that grouping is from Essie and this is Angora Cardi. And this is one of Essie's most popular shades and it is gorgeous. It is more of a, I don't know how to explain it. It has more of a pinky undertone as you can see the difference between the Essie and the OPI. The OPI one is obviously more grayish brown than the Essie is more pink. I think this is a perfect muted pinkish, purplish, mauve. I love this polish. So next are blues and greens, but it's a specific shade in both of those colors. So the first one is olive green or army green, and I have two polishes in there. One is from Essie, and this is from their new fall collection. This is Heart of the Jungle, and I did talk about this in that video, so I won't talk about it a lot. I think this is more green than olive, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, it's more of a, it's a brighter green than the olive or the army green, but I still think it's a nice shade to wear in the fall. And then the next one is from Kale Polish and this is Chloe and this is the perfect army green. I actually have a bunch of army greens in my collection because I love wearing these polishes all the time, but this is one of the polishes that I pick up all the time in the fall. This is a great one. Again, great formula, great brush. So that's why I picked this one up. I should have picked another one that is available like an OPI or anything else because I have a bunch, but I just love this polish so much. So I had to include it. And then the other one is blues, but okay. So I kind of have two different <laughs> groupings. One is the dusty blue and I have two polishes there. One is kale polish and that is cozy in there. So that is the perfect muted, like light, medium blue 
And then the other one is from Orly from their fall collection, and this is Sagebrush. So again, I did talk about this in that video as well. And I did compare the two of these, but this one is a lot more blue than this, but I think they are close enough. But either one of those is a great choice for fall for me. And then the other one is a muted navy blue, which is such a weird thing or teal, but I have a couple polishes that are in this kind of group, but I just picked one and that is from Orly. That is Midnight Oasis, again, from their fall collection. You're seeing a pattern here. I loved all the fall collections this year, so they are included, in, included, in, they're included in this video a lot, but I love this polish. This is almost a one coater, so the formula is amazing. It looks gorgeous on the nails. This one is a good one for winter as well, but I wanted to include it in the fall video because I will be wearing that soon. <laughs> so I have two more groupings. I'm gonna kind of group them together. So I'm going to call them glitters, but I have two different kind of groups of them. Um, the first one is browns, and I don't really have much brown nail polish at all, so I don't really have any cream brown polishes. I actually don't think I have any at all. These are all glitters or shimmer polishes, and actually these are all from Painted Polish, and these are some of my favorite polishes ever, these three. And they're all really close, but they're still different. So they're all browns. The first one is Lumberjacked, which has that kind of reddish orangey undertone to it. Um, the next one is Boogie with the Beast, which was part of a Beauty and the Beast duo. This is a brown shimmer with some clear and silver glitters in there. And then the last one, which is my favorite, this is Feast and Football, which is a lighter brown with some silver glitters in there. So like I said, they are all pretty similar. So I'll hold these up for you. So there are the three polishes and you can see the slight differences between all three of them. I think these two are definitely more similar. This one has that like reddish undertone to it, but they are all gorgeous. I wear them all the time in the fall. I mean, they look like a football, so of course I'm going to wear them a lot during football season. I sometimes do some football nail art, so I will use one of these polishes in those manicures, so that's why I needed to include those because I love them. But again, I don't think they're available anymore, which is unfortunate. This is my favorite indie brand, but a lot of her polishes are limited edition or she just sells out and then just decides to not make them anymore. So that is why some of these are just not available anymore. So I have one from KL Polish and this is Prince Cornelius and that is a brownish coppery base with some bright gold flecks or shifting glitters in there. It's hard to tell with this lighting to catch the shift, but I love this. This looks so pretty on the nails. I mean, it's gorgeous in the bottle, but it looks so much better on the nails. So I will be throwing this one on my nails probably soon actually. <laughs> That's one of the next polishes that I want to wear. I love it. And then I have two more from Painted Polish. The first one is hashtag PSL pumpkin spice latte. So hello fall. And this is just a glitter bomb polish, which is just a clear base with a bunch of glitters in there. So this has gold, red, silver, and orange glitters in there. So that is this polish. It is so pretty. So this I only wear on a couple nails because these are quite difficult to get off because it is just glitter. So I don't like to do a full manicure with just this polish because it's just too much of a hassle to take off. But I love using that for like an accent nail and I do that all the time. Same thing with these. These are a little bit easier than the glitters, but these have a lot of glitters in them. So these are a little bit more difficult. So these are Crellies or glitter Crellies. So it is a Crelly base with some multicolored glitters in there. So this is called Jumpin' Jack-O-Lantern. So again, fall. And this is a white base with orange, gold, and green glitters in there. Maybe some reds. But that is that. If you can even see all the fun glitters. 
This is another one that I wear as an accent nail. So I will do either an orange or a brown or a green manicure and then I will add the Crelly, like something like this. I will do a manicure with like those three polishes. So I will be doing that soon. I post most of my nail polish on my Instagram. So it's at Rainy Rainy. If you don't follow me, go check it out. I will link that down below. I do a lot more nail art around the seasons because it's just a lot more fun. I do some Halloween nail art and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be posting maybe one or two designs here. So I will film a video and then post that so you guys can see what I am doing around the Halloween season. So the last two polishes are both glitters again. One is from Simple Colors and this is Pumpkin Spice, which is a clear base with orange, gold, and possibly red, maybe. Maybe just orange and gold glitters in there. So this one is very, very liquidy of the clear base so this one you can't really get opaque whereas this painted polish one you can so this is more of a glitter topper so i like to put this over an orange polish so that will go over something like this so you can see the gold glitters come out but you can also still see the orange ones as well so i love this one don't think you can get that anywhere a lot of those polishes are limited edition for the season as well. And then the last polish is from Paint and Polish. I know, sorry, so many of these polishes, but maybe you have some of her polishes and you'll be able to pull them out for the fall. But this is the Ghoul Next Door, and this was actually part of one of her Halloween collections. And this is just a pumpkin colored glitter. And that's all it is. It's a glitter bomb. But these are micro glitters. So this one is a lot easier to remove than the PSL one because the PSL is a lot thicker, if you're gonna be able to see that. So the this one has a lot bigger glitters than this one, so this one is a lot easier to remove, but they look very different on the nails. I think the shimmer comes out a lot on these and these have holographic glitters in here as well. So it just looks so pretty, especially when the sun hits it. But those are all the polishes that I love to wear during the fall. I at least wanted to group them into kind of color tones because if you guys don't have any of these polishes, you can at least look for something similar to like anything army green or olive green or anything in that dusty blue range that is beautiful for the fall. So I wanted to include multiple shades in each group so you guys can kind of go from there. But that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.